Where's Miz? We need to talk about his latest stunt. Sorry. Miz is at a press junket with his new multiversal infinite champion. So many outlets want to talk to Logan. <laughs> Did you know he has over 80 million followers across his various social media platforms? How many do you have? Don't know, but I have a lot more wrestling wins than Logan Paul. He's a part-timer who shows up even less than Roman did. And more importantly, I actually won my championship instead of it being made up and handed to me by The Miz. Cool. All championships were made up at some point. But anyway, enough talk. You better go get ready. Now that you're mostly irrelevant, you've been relegated to the opening match slot. Seriously? We go live in 30, so be at Gorilla a few minutes before that. We're going to start the show with you already in the ring. No need to see your entrance for the millionth time. Have fun out there! We know Miz has big plans for his newly crowned champion, Logan Paul, but it is strange to see the WWE Universal Champion opening the show with no fanfare or anything. He didn't even get an entrance. Miz's plan to relegate the Dark Horse to the undercard is in full effect. It's sabotage. All the attention is going to the made-up, multiversal, infinite champion and not our real champion. This is malarkey. <laughs> Wow, Saxton, no need for the foul language. Massive damage to the whole body. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. STO takedown. He goes for the quick pin attempt. And he doesn't stay down for long. Love the confidence, but it's a little early for that. Oh, good punch. Nasty. Sky high. Oh, right to the face. Oh, man. Kick. Here we go. The WWE Universal Champion is going to put Logan Paul in his place. You're as gullible as the Dark Horse, Saxton. Paul's not here, but that doesn't stop him from messing with the champ. Oh, just turn that around. Shoulder tackle. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. German suplex. But that's not all. Into a real cord lariat. What a combination. Thanks for coming. End of days. And it can be all over for Corbin. Victory. Here is your winner, AK-47. Nobody can keep the WWE Universe... Hey, I just want to say, I know how it feels to make it to the top as the Universal Champion, and then suddenly have the rug pulled out from under you. Yeah, it's less than ideal. At least you're still champ, though. I got hurt and had to give up the Universal title after only 24 hours. Then, never got a chance to get it back when I returned. That actually gives me an idea. Especially with Miz out of the picture tonight. What are you thinking? If Miz wants to relegate me to the opening match, maybe we go out there and show him we are main event players. So we basically hijack the main event slot tonight? Yep. I get to prove my value around here, and you get the Universal Championship match you never got. Win-win. I love it. I'm in. It's not often we see our WWE Universal Champion compete twice in one night, but currently with GM Miz, 
and Logan Paul off an impressive end. He and Finn Balor took it upon themselves to schedule this match. Good for our real champ. Take down. Whatever the cross face. It's cinched in. This could be over. Give up now. Swamp. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Oh, right to the throat. Fancy there. Oh, saw it coming. Quick strike to the lower body. Great reverse, shrugging it out. Toe to toe now. Ooh. Oh, there's a response against Finn. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Neither competitor is backing down. there. Big forearm. Vicious. Downright savage club right there. And Balor's being picked apart now. Finn is being worked on heavily. Thunder and lightning raining down on the challenger here. Oh, right to my gut. A bad place to be for the challenger. And this match is not over yet. Things... The WWE Universal Champion is setting up Finn Balor for something big here. Wait a second, it's Logan Paul! Paul nails him with the clothesline. Apparently Miz and Logan Paul are here tonight after all. They probably didn't appreciate SmackDown being taken over in their absence. But what's our champion gonna do about it? Miz said there'd be severe consequences if he put his hands on Paul. Close line on Miz. And Finn nails Paul. The WWE Universal Champion will have to pay a price for attacking SmackDown's GM. I agree, Corey, but maybe not as costly as if he targeted Logan Paul. Things are certainly heating up between our dueling champions here on SmackDown. So, non-televised dark matches now, huh? Yep. Really a shame that at one point the WWE Universal Championship was the most important title around. And now the greater WWE Universe won't even get to see it. But whose fault is that? Whatever. Who am I even facing? Don't worry. We brought in someone whose star power is fitting for your new spot on the card. Oh, I think I just heard them open the doors to the audience. Better go get ready.
I can't believe Miz has basically removed you and the WWE Universal Championship from WrestleMania. I can. Have you not been paying attention to anything he's done in the last 20 years? Fair point. I should have seen it coming after he had you relegated to dark matches. Hey, on a positive note, dark matches mean I'm done early, which means less time around the Miz. So, sort of a win. How are you going to fix this, though? You can't just give up and let Miz have his way. No, I'll never give up. And I've been thinking about it. When it comes to Miz and Logan Paul, you gotta hit them where it hurts the most. Their egos. Well, Miz won't shut up about his big announcement on SmackDown of Logan Paul's opponent for WrestleMania. Maybe there's something there. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna need your suit size. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. SmackDown's GM, The Miz, is here to announce Logan Paul's WrestleMania opponent. As your must-see GM of SmackDown, we are here to announce the multiversal, infinite, everlasting, supreme, bottomless, planetary champion's opponent at WrestleMania. And it's gonna be awful. That's right, Miz. And let's get to it. Because as your part-time champion, full-time piece of trash, everyone knows I can't stand being in a WWE ring any longer than I have to. So at WrestleMania, I'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the only thing that's bigger than my ego, my extreme lack of talent. Finally, the real Miz is here to put an end to this. Now, go. I was enjoying it, Corey. You would, Saxton. Miz's security team is going to have to forcefully remove the champion and Finn Balor, or at least try to. This should be good. There's the bell, and we've got a tornado tag match on our hands. This is really a different beast for a tag team. All that normal tag team strategizing is thrown out the window. This is just pure chaos. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. Springboard! Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing! Brad's decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover?
It's ridiculous. The WWE Universal Champion, our real champion, has to win this tag match just to earn the right to compete at WrestleMania? There was a time that dinosaurs ruled the Earth, Saxton. Then humans showed up and the dinosaurs disappeared. In this case, the Dark Horse is the dinosaur. His time is up. Geological analogies aside, the fate of one of the main events of WrestleMania is at stake here. This is a huge match. Jeez. German suplex, but that's not all. Into a ripcord lariat, what a combination. Uh-oh, the end of days. Thanks for coming, Miz. Oh, a calculated attack here. This could be it, cover for the win. Finally, it's over. Here are your winners, AK-47 and Finn Balor. For over a year and a half, The Miz has made it his mission to dethrone the undisputed Universal Champion. Tonight, Dark Horse got revenge by cementing... Did you see what Miz said? Guess you got the deck stacked against you at WrestleMania. <laughs> What's new? I'll find a way to take care of business like I always do. Good, because I have no interest in going after the multiversal, infinite, everlasting, supreme, bottomless championship. Ha. <laughs> I promise. You won't have to. After all the obstacles, the real champion, the WWE Universal Champion, is going to get his chance to beat Logan Paul, who's been parading around wearing the Miz's shining fake belt. Cole, have you lost your mind? Miz is going to fire you. And don't say belt. Logan Paul's championship is a freaking belt. It's only good to hold his pants up, and it doesn't even do that well. There will be no debate after this match because only one of these championships will live on, while the other will be retired for good. He switches it back around. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Oh my, what a splash! The champ getting put to the test here. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. He's going for it all. From the top! Oh, the way to the outside! Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. Logan Paul looking helpless to every attack. Paul has to wake up and fast. Looking to take flight here. Incoming! Oh, no! Crashing hard! And that might have been too erratic of a decision to take such a high risk at this junction of the match. Logan Paul feeling on top of the world and letting him know it. Oh, touch. Nasty. Well, Paul creates an opportunity. And he stonewalls Logan. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Ring shaking splash. He is looking to do some serious harm. Oof. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch.
Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Answering back. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. this display of power and that was taking the attack to the competition maybe not maybe not still in it with a quick kick out what a jaw-dropping show of strength this late into the match was the official not seeing him removing the turnbuckle pad keep your voice down has 